Memories month plus topical agents for up to 68 weeks in patients with atopic dermatitis and moderate to severe pruritus. Results from two phase three long-term studies. My name is Kenji Kawashima, and I'm a professor in the Department of Dermatology, located in the Graduate School of Medicine of Kyoto University in Japan. I'm the lead researcher for studies JP01 and JP02, which together evaluated the long-term safety of nemolizumab to treat pruritus in patients with atopic dermatitis. Pruritus is a distressing symptom for patients with AD, and treatments providing long-term relief are needed. We have previously shown in a placebo-controlled study that nemolizumab humanized monoclonal antibody against interleukin-31 receptor A reduced pruritus in patients with atopic dermatitis by 16 weeks. The objective of this study was to examine the effectiveness and safety for long-term nemolizumab plus topical agents using data from two clinical studies. Patients were adolescents or adults with AD and inadequately controlled moderate to severe pruritus. Efficacy endpoints in both studies were the change over time and achievement rate in several commonly used measurement scales, including the pruritus bus and the easy. We also evaluated quality of life and sleep, which are known to be negatively affected by pruritus in AD. In study JP01, patients were first enrolled into Part A, which is a double blind placebo controlled period. After completing Part A, patients could enter Part B. All patients in Part B and in study JP02 received nemolizumab 60 mg once every four weeks up to 52 weeks. Both studies included an eight-week follow-up period. Our data showed a shift in the mean pruritus bus scores, demonstrating a continuing trend toward reduced pruritus over time. At the end of the follow-up period, scores showed only minimum increases, indicating durable effectiveness against pruritus. Similar trends were observed in the change in easy scores from baseline in both studies, indicating long-term nebulism of effectiveness. Reduction in easy score were maintained during the eight-week follow-up period. As you can see, other outcome measures, for example, the ISI, OEMS, and usage of topical agents also show the tendency towards improvement over time. The profile was consistent with previous studies with no unexpected late onset treatment emergent adverse events. In conclusion, we found that Nemolizma 60 mg once every four weeks when administered alongside topical treatment produce continuous and con clinically meaningful improvement in pruritus and signs of AD. Importantly, in the eight weeks after stopping treatment, most patients did not report acute itchiness or AD flare. Thank you very much for listening.